Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on the makeup that I'm wearing right now. I just wanted to do this video to show you guys some of the new products that I've got lately and kind of show you like my new sort of, not everyday makeup, but a look that I really, really love to wear. I like to do kind of like a really bright colour on the lid and then a deep colour on the outer corner. It's just really, really simple, but I think it is really classy looking and very, very put together. I'm just showing you a couple products that I've gotten recently from Art Deco, from Jordana, and then also my Exo Beauty Lashes, which I am in love with. The particular pair that I'm showing you guys in this video are called The Flirt and they are perfect little outer corner lashes and I think they are just ideal for everyday wear or special occasion wear. Whenever you guys want to wear them I think they are just the best lashes that I've ever used. I'm not exaggerating, I'm not saying it because I like Shannon. I really really like them. I prefer them to Ardell lashes and I've worn these this particular pair nine times. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look then please keep on watching. Okay so I've already done my foundation and I am wearing the Jordana Jordana uh, oil free creamy liquid foundation. And then for my eyebrows, my MAC eyebrow pencil ran out and I've had it for I want to say a month max and it's run out. So we'll never be buying that again. Um, but if you guys know a dope for fling eyebrow pencil by MAC, please let me know. But I'm taking Beguile um, brow, brow Gel, Brow Set, whatever it's called by MAC. And I'm just going to use this because I don't have the brow pencil that I like. So we're just going to rock natural brows today, which I think I probably need to do because my brows are just have been so OTT lately. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of... A white base to my lid. I'm going to be using Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil. I'm just going to pop that onto my finger and then just pat that over my eyelid. Now this look is using my Art Deco eyeshadows and I'm using, I'm holding the palette right now in my hand. So I'm going to leave a link down below if you guys want to check out my blog post which I would highly recommend because I have a bit of photos there. I'm trying to get back into blogging. I literally haven't blogged since 2011 so I think it's about time that I start blogging. Art Deco is a brand that you can now buy at Farmers. The You basically buy the palettes separately, like the holders separately. So you can buy a quad, a trio or a duo and then you buy the shadows individually. The shadows cost 9 and this quad costs 16. So I'm going to take number 372 first off which is a really nice light matte beige with glitter all throughout. I'm going to take my shader crease brush because this is the only small brush that I have left and I'm going to pick up some of that shade and I'm just going to pop it onto my eyelid. So now that I've got that you can see that it's pretty much just the colour of the base just a little bit more like natural looking and I've got glitters everywhere. Very very subtle glitter. This one here is really good and this is 538 and it's a matte brown kind of peachy brown colour and I'm taking that on my tapered crease brush by EXO Beauty and I'm just going to run this through my crease in full on windshield wiper motions from outer corner right the way through to inner tear duct. Now I'm going to take the dark brown colour which is called 376 and you can actually see the glitters in this one on camera because it's quite a contrast so it's dark brown with gold glitter in it. Basically I'm applying the dark brown in the outer like third of my eyelid I'm just packing it in there and I'm going to blend that in a second. These yeah the glitter shadows just have they have good color power and good pigmentation they've just got a lot of fallout and you do not see very much of the glitter at all. You just see the um, base colour. So now that I've got that, as you can see, I'm just going to blend that out with the same brush that we used before. I'm just going to start off with this small brush and then I'll get a big brush um, in a second to just make it a little bit easier. So eyeshadow brush that I'm using now is the eyeshadow blender by EXO Beauty. Just to kind of feather out the edges. This is Creamy Vanilla from Jordana. I got it for $3.90. So more than half the price of one of these and it is literally my favourite eyeshadow for highlighting. So now that I've got that, I'm just going to blend the light brown colour underneath my lower lashes. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on doing this. I talk really weird. But yeah, I just want to kind of blend it quite smokily underneath. So now that I've got that light brown smudged underneath my lashes, I'm going to take my favourite brown liner, which is by Jordana. And this is one of their quick liners and it's in medium chocolate and it looks like that. It's just great quality for the price. Again, I think I paid $3.90 for this one maybe. I don't know, it was very, very inexpensive and it's just a really warm toned brown liner. So you can see that there, it's just quite 
like less dramatic than a black but it's just quite nice and defining as well. So now that I've got that I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use my Maybelline Colossal Smoky Eyes which is not out, at least not out in New Zealand yet. I'll let you guys know when it's out because there's a bunch of products from this range that I really like that aren't out yet but they're amazing. So I'm going to apply this to my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to go really really hard on the mascara because I'm going to be applying some half lashes in a second which I love and I can't wait to show you guys. So hopefully you can kind of see there what the mascara does with just one full coat. It's really, really good. So now for the lashes. These lashes are by EXO Beauty. And if you guys are watching this video the day that it was released, the lashes would have came out yesterday. So the lashes came out on the 5th, no, the 6th of January. And these are literally my favorite fake eyelashes. I am not a huge false lash girl. I haven't tried like hundreds of brands. But, you know, I've tried the generic ones. Like I've tried Red Cherry. I've tried Miss Adoro. I've tried... Ardell, I've tried basically the kind of go-to lashes, but I literally can't express to you guys how much I love these. So the pair that I'm using today are the half lashes, which are called the Flirt. And the reason why I'm showing you a stock photo right now is because I've used mine. This will be the ninth time that I've worn them. I'm going to be wearing these today. I love them. They blend with my lashes perfectly. They just give the perfect amount of volume for, and not necessarily like an everyday look, but a look where you don't want to wear full false lashes. Or if you're like me and have shorter lashes, these look very, very natural and are easy to apply. So they fit my eyes perfectly. Obviously, you don't have to cut them because they're half lashes. And they do have a black band. This particular pair have a black band. I think two out of the six styles have a black band. I've just got some duo lash adhesive just kind of setting on those. I just want, wait, want to wait for it to go tacky before I put them on. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a couple of products to my face while I'm waiting. So for bronzer, lately, I've, as I've mentioned, I think in my November favourites, I think I mentioned this. This is the Colour Caramel Cooked Powder Bronzer. And I'm just taking my buffing brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that into the hollows of my face. Because today I think I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. Alright, my lashes are ready. I'll show you the blush in a second. So I'm, when I apply my fake lashes, all I do is I just look down into a mirror. I use tweezers personally because I find it much easier than using my fingers pop them down and then I just kind of fix them in place. Once I get better I'll actually show you in a video but as of right now uh, I suck so I'll see you guys when they're on. So I've got my lashes on one of my eyes now. This is the one that I have a lot of trouble with but I feel like it blends really really beautifully from natural lash to fake lash. It just gives my eyes this really really pretty kind of like winged out effect and it almost makes me look like I've got liner on. As I said though this does have a black lash band. Personally I honest I really can't see the lash band once I've got them on. Cool so there we go I've got both of the lashes on and hopefully you can see they just look really really natural. Once I've got them on you can't really tell that I've got fake lashes on. It just looks like I've got like the most phenomenal natural lashes ever. So now back to the face. I want to show you guys that blush from Jordana that I've been loving. This is the Rose Silk Blush. This is number 32. And I like to apply this with a angled blush brush from Exo Beauty. I also like to apply it with a stippling brush. But this one is good as well. So I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up. Just wash that onto my cheekbones. For me this is kind of like the colour of my natural flush. So it just looks extensively natural. And to finish everything off, I'm just going to use one of my Australis for Law Lips. Do let me know if you guys still want to see a tutorial on how I would wear the purple one. This one is my favourite and it's called Rio, and it's a really nice orange. I love orange lip colours personally. They are kind of drying and they have a really really weird consistency but I love the colours so I do put up with it. So this is what the lip looks like here. I'm just going to put a little bit of my favourite lipstick on top which is Shocking Coral by Maybelline. Just to make it a little bit more pinky. But that's pretty much how I like to wear the velour lips. Almost like, like a lip liner because they're very, very um, staining. So I like to wear them underneath a lipstick that almost matches. And as you guys know, this is my favourite lipstick. I wear it almost every single time that I film a video. I swear, every other video I'm wearing this. It's probably my favourite all-time lipstick. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think of the lashes. I absolutely love the rest of the pairs. As I mentioned, the link will be down below for them. They are just phenomenal. Don't forget to thumbs up if you guys like this video and don't forget to post any more requests down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys and I'll see you all next time. Bye!